you recall my last report, I indicated that the uh, prior to the uh, going back in for the veto session, which starts May 1st, uh, both the House uh, Appropriations Committee and the Senate Ways and Means Committee would call it, be called back to Topeka uh, prior to that uh, veto session to go over the budgets. Uh, that took place on Thursday, started out with a joint meeting between the House and the Senate uh, Budget Committees in which we were uh, briefed by the consensus estimating group as far as uh, their, uh, their report that they had last week. Now, things are a little bit better than they were back in November. I think uh, revenues are up slightly, about $150 million. Uh, so we have things taken care of for the uh, 2017 budget. So this $156 million be uh, part of the uh, 2018 budget. Now, one of the things that uh, needs to take place here with this uh, veto session, of course, is both the Senate and the House, after we met uh, on Thursday, uh, broke away for... Uh, each group going their own way to go over the budgets and also to review the governor's budget. So we had our house position and we also had the governor's budget and making additions and subtractions uh, in that and the Senate was doing the same thing. Of course, both of those uh, will have to be melded together here when we get back for the veto session and uh, try to uh, come up with something uh, as far as a balanced budget for 2018 as well as the 2019 uh, fiscal year. We will see uh, quite a bit of negotiating going on uh, because we will have to have that all in line with the uh, tax bill. And of course, as I mentioned in the last report, um, even though we did get quite a bit done in the first part of the session, there remains quite a bit of work to be done, especially with the governor having vetoed our tax bill as well as the Medicaid expansion. Subsequently, we will be um, uh, waiting on the re uh, revenue report, or I should say the tax bill to come out of the tax committee. We also have the uh, school finance budget committee has put together a school uh, finance formula. So all this has to gel as far as our budget and the tax bill, and of course the uh, school finance bill. Uh, here recently, uh, a little money came to the state in the, in the amount of $62 million. That's part of our tobacco settlement money. Uh, that many, uh, money can, uh, comes each year, and subsequently it was uh, this year $62 million. As I mentioned, revenues are slightly up. Uh, we were able to shore things up, as you know, with the 2017 budget with some internal borrowing, and uh, that is what shows up as far as some of the ending balances that we'll have at the end of 2017. As I mentioned, uh, veto session starts on uh, May 1st. Uh, the House and Senate will be coming into full session, and that's when uh, we have to uh, you know, finish things up budget-wise and so forth. Uh, there's about two weeks devoted to that effort. Uh, whether or not we need to take that long depends. Um, as I mentioned, quite a bit to do. So we'll have another report for you after we get back here on the, uh, on the 1st uh, to kind of see where things are going. As I mentioned, um, appropriations and, um, and Senate Ways and Means uh, did a little bit of work here prior to the session to try to kind of narrow things down in the budgets. Obviously, during the negotiations, some things will change further, and once again, those will be melded together. So we'll see you next week.